Hey guys, so today's video is, as you can tell, a haul. I purchased a few different things, but a lot of it is, th is stuff that was sent to me, so anything that was sent I will disclaim. There's nothing to hide in this business. I do also have a few affiliate links down below for some of the products that I am going to show you guys. So if you want to use those, you can. I would really appreciate it. If you don't, then you don't have to. But I'm going to get into it and show you guys all of the recent makeup items that I have received. Okay, let's start out with brows. So I got the new Benefit Brow Contour Pro. I have it in my eyebrows. eyebrows my eyebrows today it's a really cool concept this little pen it's like one of those pens that you have when you're in school it's got four different colors it's literally like that except it's eyebrow pencil so you get a lighter shade pencil deeper shade you get a definer and a highlighter. There's not a huge difference between the definer and the highlighter I've found. That's just my personal opinion. They're just like a cream concealer type thing. And yeah, I've only used it a few times and I'm unsure about it. I usually use pomades in my brows. I just find them so easy. And because my brows are so fair, I pretty much have to map out the entire shape every time I do them. And for some reason, I just find that easier with a pomade. But so far, I do like it. I do find it cool that you get two different colors in here. And then you get your little concealers to carve out your brows, which I did do underneath. But I feel like my eyebrows are so thin compared to normal today. I don't know if I like it or if I don't. Because I do like big brows, but I like them to be bushy and natural, which... Mine aren't really. So yeah, the shade I got sent is Blonde Light. I mean, I'm going to keep using it, keep trying it, and just see how I go with it. It came in a really cute little PR package, which you guys would have seen on my Instagram stories. I haven't really got a lot more to say about it because I still need to keep trying it out. Okay, I bought three more Tarte Shape Tape Concealers. These are my ride or dies. I am obsessed with shape tape obsessed i've repurchased every single time i've run out for probably the last two years i would say and i had a wedding la not last weekend the weekend before where i was doing clients makeups and i needed more so luckily they came in time i ordered fair neutral which is what i've got under my eyes in the center of my face today because I have no tan on, so I'm very fair. So yeah, that's my like really fair color. So those are the three colors there. So this one here is fair neutral. Then the next shade is light sand. I love this color when I have fake tan on and like to use under my eyes and down the center of my face to highlight. I just, I really like this shade. It's like my perfect fake tanned highlighty shade and then I bought the shade medium which is a really really good color I have been kind of mixing I always mix my products I'm really sorry if you guys can hear noises I have the window open just a tiny bit yeah I, I like am the biggest mixer of products I love finding like my own concoctions of things but with these I just mix them together to make custom shades for each person that I do makeup for. I was really annoyed though because I purchased those and literally like two or three days later they had a 25% off sale and they never have shape tape included in their sales and it was included. I was like, are you serious? But I would have purchased them no matter what. So, I mean, whatever. All right, the next products are from Makeup Geek. I was super lucky and got included on their PR list, which I was like, I have loved Makeup Geek since I started my YouTube channel. Like, I remember watching Marlena. She was one of the very first people I watched on YouTube. I, don't, I just discovered her. And she seems like such a kind, like, caring, just a sweetheart. And so I always supported her brand. And her products are friggin' amazing. So, 
They came out with four shades for their summer range, which Americans are just finishing their summer, but Australians, we're actually, go we just started spring, so yeah, we're going into summer very shortly. And they also released four single fall shades. So the one, two, three, four, those shades are all from the summer range, and then the two bottom ones here are from the fall range, which, ugh. Oh, these are all so beautiful. I have on today this middle shade here, which is called Hayride. Then I have on the shade next to it, which is called Apple Spice. I love the names of all of these. In my outer corner, I have Grunge, which is this nice dark chocolatey cool brown. And then for the blue all over my eyeballs is this foiled shadow in blue my mind. But blue is spelled the color blue. Oh, and I actually have some of this peachy shade through my crease too. And it's called Summer Lovin'. The other two, no, the other three shades, sorry, are Pink of Me, which I, uh, it's like a satin pink, but it's got little glitters through it. It doesn't swatch as nice as it looks in the pan. I haven't tried it on my lids yet though, so I don't know if it's going to be nice on the lids. And then the little green is called Leafing So Soon. I love the names. And this colour down here is so beautiful. It's called Autumn Breeze, and it's like a emerald green, beautiful beautiful color. I was so like conflicted on which bluey green shade to use on my lids but blew my mind just kind of like spoke to me. I do love a good blue eyeshadow I have to say. So those two collections are currently released. You can get them on makeupgeek.com and I'll have them linked down below as I said before. And then the other product which today's date I think it's the 4th of September. This releases on the 6th and you guys are going to die. I already posted a video using it um, in a tutorial because I just, as soon as I got it, I was like, I have to film with this. And a lot of you guys have said, like, you can't wait until it comes out and for good reason. Like, how pretty is the packaging to start off with? It's so sleek and simple but pretty. All the shade names are on the back. It's called the Pumpkin Spice Palette and da -da -da -da, warm toned girl or boy's dream. Comes with a mirror too, which is amazing. It amps up the quality. And there are two foiled eyeshadows in this, which if you go, Holly, would you stop rolling around on the floor while I'm busy? My dog literally is just rolling around on the floor making those <laughs> noises. They have two foiled shades in here, which if you guys have watched me for a while, you know that the foiled shades are like my favorite. I love nothing more than a good foiled eyeshadow. So these two are the foiled ones. I actually used this on my lid in the tutorial. I'll have the tutorial I posted linked down below, but it's just such a good palette. It's got the perfect mix of mattes and shimmers and foils. This shade up here, it's just like a sheen shimmer and it's so beautiful this shade has like little gold glitters in it through the peachy color oh it's just such a gorgeous gorgeous palette and i I've, I've been reaching for it like ever since i got it i it's been like my go-to palette because the quality is just perfect and the colors in this they're like right up my alley so get excited guys september 6th as soon as it launches, I'll have it linked down below, so if you want to use my code, I mean my affiliate link, um, you can. As always, like you guys don't have to, but it's always appreciated when you do use my, my links and I earn a teeny weeny little amount. Next product I have is from Stila. It's just another one of their Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows, which I love. My collection is ever-growing and... I am not mad about it. So my best friend actually came up to visit and whenever she comes up here, because where she lives and where I used to live, there is no Mecca. It's like a such small country town. There's, there's not even a mall. Mm. So we always go to the mall and we always go to Mecca. I love it because she's always like, you tell me what to buy. I trust your opinion. I know that 
you'll give me the right advice and I'm like oh I should totally work here but yeah I picked up this Stila glitter and glow and swatched it and I was like I have to buy this one day and she's like no put it in the basket I will get it for you she's the best honestly she looks after me like I'm her daughter so the shade is called ballet baby and it's this beautiful light pink and it's got like kind of tiny teeny little silver holographic specks in it I did use it in a tutorial my actual last video it is which I am so sorry I haven't uploaded for like it's been a while it's been like two weeks I feel like after that wedding I mentioned earlier because I was actually invited it was one of my high school friends I got so sick. It wasn't food poisoning because I don't eat meat and I didn't eat any meat. But I think I was just, because I had such a big day doing their makeup, then for like I didn't sit down until the dinner and then I ate the dinner and I had about four alcoholic drinks, which is not enough to like, I wasn't drunk, I wasn't tipsy, like I didn't feel a thing. But as soon as I got home, I started vomiting and I was so sick for two days I could not get out of bed I was just exhausted so that is why there hasn't been a video I've just like it took me literally like a week to recover from being sick everything was sore from vomiting so much still couldn't really eat but I wasn't complaining about that because I could do with a few days of not eating but yeah that's that's why in case anyone missed my videos all right and then the last products are all from MAC. As you guys know, I do work with MAC. Um, I have an affiliate link with them and they do send me products when I need them and all of that type of thing. Um, so I'm so lucky I get sent new releases and I get, you know, asked, do you need anything? I'm just, yeah, I'm blessed. Hashtag blessed. So let's start off with the new release products. Okay, so the first thing is the Hyper Real Foundation. I have this on today underneath my foundation because these are like, they're so cool. I got the one in Rose Gold FX. There's, I think, gold, rose gold, silver maybe. But it's literally like a metallic-y, beautiful highlight kind of thing. You can wear it under your foundation, you can wear it without foundation, you can wear it over the top of your foundation, just like on the high points. It's just like a liquid and I feel like you can use it for so many things and I'm obsessed with it underneath my foundation. This foundation is like full coverage and fairly matte but it just gives it like the most beautiful finish ever. I really, really like this stuff and I feel like it would last forever because you barely need any product. So that is the first thing. The next new release which I have used in a tutorial already and am obsessed with is the MAC Iridescent Powder Loose. I got the shade Silver Dusk. There is another shade and I believe Silver Dusk is out of stock at the moment because obviously it flew off. The shells and for good bloody reason it is so good guys so it just comes yeah in a, like a loose powder form and it has a little sifter and it is the most beautiful highlight powder it's so soft and like as the name suggests iridescent you just look like an angel that's floated down from heaven and like it's a natural beautiful amazing glow that you have to your skin like oh I am so into this product. This is expensive. I have had a few people say like, wow, that's really expensive on my last video, but it's loose. You get so much product and you barely, barely, barely need any product. So I feel like it's kind of like a good investment. You will have it for a long time. It's, and like even highlighter pans, who, goes through an entire highlighter pan unless you wear it every single day and I know a lot of you guys like you, you're like me we rotate products we use different things on different days whatever we're feeling um, so I mean I feel like this is gonna last me forever and I just think if you want to purchase it 
like don't be too put off by the price because I feel like it is really worth it. Okay, on to another new release. They brought out these Grand Illusion Glossy Liquid Lip Color. That is a mouthful. So I picked the shade Just Hustlin', which oh, it's so bloody beautiful. They're holographic, obviously. They, they're just the prettiest, prettiest thing. I love the packaging. It's like the bullet style um, lid, but it's like gunmetal silver. And this color is kind of like a cool tone pinky purple with golden peach reflex. I'm going to put it over the top of my lipstick. And it is so comfortable to wear. That's so pretty. I kind of smells minty too, which I like. I remember everyone always saying, like when I first started out in makeup, saying like, MAC lip glosses are so sticky. And I know this is technically not a lip gloss, it's a liquid lip color. This is not sticky, like, whatsoever, but it lasts. Like, oh, I love it. I wore this lip combo in my last video because I'm obsessed with it. I love cool toned lips. I just, I love it. I really love it. I'm going to have to get more colors of that because they have, like, a diamondy color. They have, like, a peachy color. They have, like, a whole heap of different colors and... Oh, they're amazing and I want them all so I'm gonna be collecting and then the final new release product I haven't used this yet and I'm dying to I was it was such a toss-up whether I should use it today or just use the makeup geek shadows so it's the dazzle shadow liquid these are like the Stila glitter and glows I love glitter I love love these kind of products I picked the shade Bean Time, which is this beautiful rose gold. Like, stunning. I don't even know what else to say about it besides, like, it's it just looks insanely beautiful. Um, so it comes, yeah, just on a little doe foot applicator. Again, products like this will last so long because you just don't need much. Your eyelids are very small and these kinds of products little bits go long ways so I am planning on filming a tutorial using this very very soon because like I have had my eye on it since I got it and it looks amazing so keep your eyes out for that and I also do love the packaging because the lid is like it's black but it's got sparkles all through it which I feel like is such a like fitting and beautiful packaging for this product okay and then the rest of the products were kind of just like things that I needed or slash wanted because they like like they like to send us products so we can use them in their, our videos and even before I worked with MAC I think I would use at least one MAC product per video because I just I've always loved their stuff so I ordered a, another Studio Fix Fluid let me just straighten myself up I ordered NC15 which I have on today it's my fair shade because I have NC20 and NC25, they're like my tan shades, which I love, but I really wanted to get a paler shade for when I don't have any fake tan on, and this shade is like my perfect fair skin shade. I love this foundation, I use it every time I do someone's makeup pretty much. The three foundations I always take to do clients' makeups are NARS She Glow, MAC Studio Fix, and Makeup Forever HD foundations, but MAC has slowly like, actually it wasn't even slow, as soon as I started using it, I was like, this is my new thing, like, it lasts all day, doesn't budge, doesn't transfer, literally the best foundation, and one of my all-time favorites because it's full coverage, it's just, it's so beautiful. It's so, so beautiful. Then I just picked up another one of the Mineralized Skin Finishes in Light Plus. I do have this on today actually as well. It's just a powder, but their Mineralized Skin Finishes are always so good. They're like a baked powder and they're not crazy full coverage. They're just enough coverage to like set your liquids and creams down while still letting your skin look naturally demi matte and dewy it doesn't take away like the pretty dewiness really i mean it's just the perfect kind of powder it just sets what you need it to 
without going overboard. Then I realized I didn't really have a MAC bronzer. I have a mineralized skin finish in a darker shade, but it's kind of orangey and I can only wear it when I'm really tanned. So I wanted to get a bronzer and I ordered the bronzing powder in bronze. Got it on my face today. As you can see, I tried to use pretty much a lot of things from this haul because I wanted to show you guys what it looks like on my face. So this is what the bronzer looks like. It actually does look kind of orange in the pan, but when it is on your face, no orange. No, no, no. Like, I have absolutely no fake tan on. I'm pale as pale right now, and it does not show up orange at all. At all. And doesn't look muddy. It's just a really, really good formula. And they do have quite a few shades. I, I like that. It kind of has some shimmers in it, but honestly, it looks pretty matte to me. Oh, that lipstick was not even. Yeah, it honestly looks pretty matte to me when it's on the face, which is what I like, and I am super impressed by this. Bronze is one thing I don't really buy that much, and I just use the same thing over and over and over, so this is going to be one I'm going to be reaching for. I just know it. Then, oh, I love this product, guys. Guys! The Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Oh Darling. Oh, oh my darling. I have it on today. Um, I was kind of worried it would be too dark for me with no fake tan, but I don't feel like it is at all. Um, I have used this though. I actually did my mother-in-law's makeup and her sister. So I did their makeup just a few days ago for my boyfriend's brother's birthday party. And they both have really, like, olive tanned skin. They're Dutch, so their whole family, like, has that beautiful olivey skin. And this looked incredible on them. Like, absolutely, insanely incredible. And the Extra Dimension... Dimension? I'm talking too fast, I can't talk. The Extra Dimension Skin Finishes are literally one of the best formulas ever. I have double gleam and beaming blush as well and I've been obsessed with them for years and I was like I need to add Oh Darling to the collection because it looks stunning and it is stunning like just the most beautiful golden glow then I ordered a lipstick this is a matte lipstick it's just a standard good old MAC bullet lipstick which they actually got famous for and it's what I have on my lips today, what's underneath that liquid lip colour. And it's in the shade Really Me. And it's just a cool toned, greyish, purplish pink. Like, I don't know how else to describe it but that. And it's beautiful. I feel like this goes so well with cool toned eye looks, which like what I've got on today. It just matches better than like a peach would. So, I love it. I love, love, love it. So those are all of the products that I recently either were sent or purchased or, you know, that's it. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I haven't done a haul in a very long time. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and keep your eyes peeled for many more videos now that I am feeling myself again and not feeling like I want to die in my bed. Anyway, I'm going to stop blabbing and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye. Hey guys. You guys, are you kidding? Shut up. Ollie, what are you doing? But I really want to... Shh. Be quiet.